Okay, I think it's time to check the two I set up yesterday. So I set one up deep in here. It's underneath this wood here. So I'm gonna take the wood off. Don't forget where you put them, that's the other thing. Um, and then I'm gonna pull the pot out. Oh, there's definitely something in there. We'll go and have a look. Okay, let's tip out what we've got. It's good if you've got a white piece of paper or a tray or something. Let's see what we've got in here. Ah, right, can you see these little guys here? These are wood louse. Okay, so you can see lots of little legs and like a little suit of armour on. So they're always good ones to look out for and you'll probably get a lot if you found somewhere nice and dark and damp. There you go, so we've got some wood louse. And what else have we got in here? Ah, look at this guy. Can you see that one? That one is a millipede. So look at all his legs and he's got a very round body, almost like a tube. Can you see? So that's black, that's a millipede. That's a really good find. What else have we got in here? Uh, more wood louse. So we've got quite a lot of wood lice and our millipede. I think that's all in here, but that's a pretty good find. Lots and lots of wood louts. Look at these. They won't hurt you, so you can pick them up gently and hold them to have a nice look. There we go. That's great. Not bad for one night. Okay, the most important thing, once you've had a look at everything, maybe done some drawings, maybe looked at a few ID charts and I put some on my website, then the most important thing is that you pop these guys back exactly where you had your trap so that they can go back into the wild. So I'm going to take these back out the garden and then we'll have a look at my next one. Right, I hid my next pitfall trap down here in amongst all the ferns in the dark and quite damp part of my garden next to one of my log piles. So it's down here. Can you see the pot? We'll take this one out and we'll see what's inside. Right, pitfall trap number two. Let's see what we've got. Oh, 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 oh look what we've got in here. Whoa, he's fast. Can you see him? Let's see if I can pick him up. Actually, let's do him on here. Right, this one is a centipede. Now you saw the millipede last time with the very tubular black body. This one is a, milli is a centipede. Now these ones are little hunters, so they're carnivorous, yet our millipede just eats plants. So these, oh look, there we go, it's like a little race. We've got a ground beetle in here as well. Now that's great to find. You might often get beetles in here, and there's over 4,000 different types of beetles in the UK. So you never know. Whoa, look at that. That's great. I'm not even going to try and pick those up because they're just going to run off of me. Oh, and a wood louse as well. This is a good one here. Let's have a look what else is in here, if there's anything else. Hiding. Can't see anything. That centipede is fabulous, though. Look at him. Oh, he's going to escape. And he's off. There we go, I'll let him go back in the undergrowth. Have a good look at that. Let's go back to our beetle. Where's he gone? There he is. Whoa, beautiful. So can you see as well? You can see three parts of the body, the head, the middle bit is called the thorax, and then the back bit is called the abdomen. And he has six legs because he's an insect. Oh, great captures. Let's have a closer look at our beautiful ground beetle. Look at that. I need to go and look at my ID charts now and see if I can ID him. So hopefully that's inspired you to make your own pitfall trap. If you do make one, don't forget to share your images with me and with Wren. You like to know, don't you? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>